All right, so um, just to talk a little bit about some of the Grandmaster Flash techniques. So uh, quick, quick Mix Theory, uh, you know, is basically, as we saw in, um, you know, the clip from Wild Style, um, where he cuts up Bob James, Take Me to Mardi Gras, and God Made Me Funky by the Headhunters, two classic uh, drum breaks, um, Bob James 2, um, which we also talked about with Peter Piper. But this is a, 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 a Grandmaster Flash, um, you know, special, so to speak. So the, the quick mix theory was his overall, all these techniques that he named. So, um, so one was cutting or the zuga zuga or uh, the rub, where he'd take two copies of the same record and he would cut them up. Where he would cut them up and you know basically try to make a loop out of them. Now I did a bunch of that, in my little demos and stuff. But I'll do it with some real records, um, so you can kind of see in in one second here. Okay. Now the other thing um, we showed you back spinning before, where you spin it back to the beginning of the break, typically without the audience and hearing hearing that because you don't want someone hear you back spinning. Um, you know, it's not the most uh, pleasing of sounds, so to speak. So you do it with the fader off. So you let the break play, or the beginning play. And I move the fader over to here, over to this record, which isn't playing, so you can't hear me backspin. Okay, so I'm using the cross fader to switch it over to here, which creates silence. Remember, if I cut it in, you can, you can, you can hear it. Okay, um, the other main thing, and this is super important if you watch the Get Down on Netflix and you see any of my records that, that I'm using, it has a little, a little sticker uh, on it. Now, um, this is what Flash called Clock Theory. He used, you know, different DJs at the time used different marks on the record, like this line or whatever, but, you know, labels are inconsistent. So, like, this line on one copy could be in the right place. It could be in a totally different place on another record. So, you use a crayon to make a mark. And what I do is um, I place my, my clock hand when I set a record at the top of the break at 12 o'clock. So, so you can hear that sound. The sticker's at 12 o'clock. And this allowed Flash to know how many revolutions he'd have to go back to get to the beginning of that. So one, that's 12 o'clock again. Two, right at the top. Now one, right there you know so let it play a little bit longer so it just allows you to know so you have to put um you know stickers or mark your own records so all, all these records you know um some djs will put the sticker at the top of the sound the sound they want to mark so it's uh lines up with um the stylus or needle or whatever you want to call it okay um and one last technique of flashes is uh, what he would do is he would cut in something like a horn sound, like a horn stab or, or something over another record. Um, and I'll have to find a record that has something like that for you so I can show you what punch, uh, uh, what punch phrasing is. But basically he would punch in a record. So he could punch in like this could be playing. You know, so he's punching in that sound, you know, you, usually you use it with like a, a horn or a guitar sound or something like that, you know, now. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about phrasing when we talk about DJ Premier. Um, but anyways, so basic Grandmaster Flash like scratching technique. Um, so I'm cueing these up to the beginning of the break. Now, Flash loved to cut in these, uh, this roll, this snare roll, um, into, into the records. It was like his jam. So we'll start with um, Take Me to Mardi Gras. Now, Take Me to Mardi Gras, the important thing is like there's the good part of the record, which is this part. You recognize this from Peter Piper, the end of Missy Elliott's Work It, um, you know. And then it gets to the whack part. Here, here you go, right? This is like, if you ever played this part, you were like dead. Like whack ass corny DJ. It's coming in a second. Here it comes. This is the whack part. 
you know, Bob James, uh, he made a lot of really dope, dope music, but he made mostly like, I don't know, like soft jazz <laughs> stuff. So, um, he's been sampled a lot. He's definitely a treat in, in hip hop, you know? Um, but anyways, you never let it get to that whack part. That was like a cardinal sin. So, um, yeah, I'll just show you a little basic, uh, quick mix theory by flash. I'm going to use all of his techniques. I'm going to use the clock theory. I'm going to do backspin. I'll do a little punch phrasing. Now I'll cut it in on beat and then I'll cut in. God made me funky just like we did, um, on wild style. So uh, here we go. Just gotta keep it on beat. And roll right into that one. Oh, skipped. That's the thing with records, they skip. Don't let it get to the whack part. Um, God made me funky. Woo, almost got to the whack part. I'm using my headphone cue. So that's Quick Mix Theory um, by Flash. So we had a little punch phrasing. We had uh, zooga zooga the rub, you know, cutting up on time in a loop. Um, we used clock theory and back spinning in the way that Flash used it with, with records that um, he would use. This is uh, the Headhunters record. Super dope stuff. Super dope stuff. <laughs> 